Tom Ryan. I'm Siobhan. My name is David. And we're here to talk to you about supply chain and Target's presence. And the actual name of the article that we're going to talk about is why Target is ranking up as maple leaves, and that's a reference to Canada. So the introduction and background, what actually happened was in 2011, David Cornell uh, decided, he was a, he was a newly, newly appointed CEO of Target for about three or four months, and he decided to take a trip to Canada and look at the stores. And he found that it was not up to expectations, it was not up to par with the way the United States was, was handling their Target resources. And he actually made the decision to withdraw all Target stores from Canada. And Savannah's going to talk to you about the financial So um, there are about 133 uh, stores that they opened up in Canada, um, and by canceling all those uh, stores, it would have cost $600 million and 17k employees to like lose their jobs. So he had to make that tough decision. Hey, we need to close down these stores. Um, he saw that since 2011, since they started all those stores, they lost about two billion dollars and that just didn't add up. So um, by doing that, he actually boosted uh, shares 1.8%, and um, it went up to $75.67. Um, so all, overall, uh, it was a smart decision on his point that it didn't seem to work out yet in Canada, and um, it just helped boost targets overall shares in uh, the US. And now I'm going to pass it on to David. All right, so especially with uh, you, how bad Canada happened with all the Target, um, you know, all the stores closing in and everything, and the CEO made that decision. Um, on the other side of the border, U.S. actually has a more positive outlook. Um, a lot of the stores are actually increasing by 3% every uh, for the quarter that they were, like, uh, calculating in. So there was a 3% increase in sales. Um, there was also, so a little bit more about the statistics on how Target did. Because um, we know we're over here telling you that they took up all the stores, but we didn't tell you how much they were making. So by 2017, they were expected to make $6 billion. By 20, um, actually, sorry, by 20, by now 2016, they actually only made $1.3 billion in sales. Which, as you can tell, that's a ridiculous amount that they did not meet. And, um, so as you can tell, a lot of the stores in Canada didn't live up to the expectations that the CEO originally planned earlier, whenever they, he started this uh, plan to go ahead and open up Canada or target stores in Canada. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to Ryan right now to talk about uh, the underlying issues as well as what we learned. Okay, the initial underlying issue that Target, I guess, overlooked was that the, the economy in Canada was actually on a steady decline. It had been going down for about four years. And it had a significant uh, impact on Target sales. Um, another fault on Target's end was actually the fact that they had advertised and uh, presented Target a lot in Canada before going in and while opening. And tar or Target, Canadian shoppers in Target had, or Canadian shoppers for Target had high expectations. And due to supply chain issues, poor supply chain management, the shelves ended up being understocked and it just left a sour taste in the mouths of Canadian shoppers. Um, one of the big issues for the reasons for closing was that they were, they were not expecting any profit until 2021. And this started in 2011. So that was 10 years before they even showed profit. And as Savan said, they already lost two billion dollars, so there was there was no way they were going to make that money though. Uh, there's also no short-term method for improving sales. They, they they went through the books. They they spent months trying to find a way to improve sales and to get their reputation back up, and they couldn't find a way. And then lastly, hackers uh, for the Target card. I'm sure everybody remembers when the the Target card was hacked. That left a huge scare with with all. I mean, even in the U.S. with the Target shoppers. And that added icing to the cake for for the Canadian downfall for Target. So I'm also going to talk about what we learned. Um, completely withdrawing from one market can, can or, sorry, completely withdrawing from one market can positively affect stock in overall in a company. Meaning, 
when they withdrew from Canada, they actually improved their stock for Target in the U.S. Um, and also poor supply chain management plus high consumer expectations led to a huge loss in sales. A company could be falling in one market but thrive in another is in the U.S. They they never saw any decline in in the U.S. Target while there was a Canadian downfall. And uh, the, the lastly, the, the Target may see some huge changes in the future, meaning uh, Target Red Car uh, is projected to be changed because they're actually losing money on that as well. They lost about three percent off of the off of the uh, Target Red Car. And then Savan is going to talk to you about why this is important. Thank you. So um, the global economy impact um, is huge on U.S. stores, especially if it's major stores are located in the U.S. Um, as I said before, um, because they closed down all those stores in Canada, uh, U.S. stores kind of prospered because of this. Um, and another lesson for businesses, do your homework before you open up businesses somewhere else in a different country. Um, as Ryan said before, their economy was actually going down when they were trying to open up these businesses. And it's really bad for business if they have these um, and so, and timing, timing is everything. You can't really open up stores if the economy is bad and people are trying to save money rather than spend it. And now I'll pass it on to David. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about the relationship of supply chain as well, um, or within the supply chain industry and how Target fits into all that. Um, obviously, it's, like Savan said before, it's very difficult to start a whole new set of stores when you're into a, com a country that has a declining economy, so for example, like a hostile environment, you can't really build or can't really grow uh, within that type of economy. Also, um, like Ryan said before, a lot of the consumers were expecting a certain amount, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you just try to go over to the border um, to try to open up different target stores, um, it's not successful when you don't have a good supply chain management, as well as also, um, you know, also a, good, a better economy, as well as, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, thank you very much.